This is YouTuber Patty Schultz sitting at his desk in his home studio. He is about to stop work in order to shop online for an extreme macro lens which he believes will help him in his pursuit of internet fame and riches. In three seconds from now he will open his internet browser and begin browsing online marketplaces. The YouTuber clearly believes that buying gear, camera lenses, and digital assets will result in better videos. This is a naive yet fairly common viewpoint among digital creators in a capitalistic society which fosters constant comparison among peers. Readily selling solutions to problems that may never have occurred to the YouTuber as a problem if not for the unbearable onslaught of capitalistic propaganda commonly called advertising. I was thinking about getting a special lens for this, like a macro lens, because I think it would just be maybe easier to be able to do something in the close-up format with a lens that's made for that. Ooh. Ooh. Now this I like. It might make it easier to make a composition on a large scale that is actually interesting with something so simple as an AirPod if I had equipment that could actually capture very small intricacies of something such as an AirPod. But I'm just trying to make do without it. See what I can do, explore the possibilities of just using simple, you know, non-expensive gear. I am curious about what this is gonna turn out like because I can't really imagine it in my head. I don't think of that as being like, a benefit when you're thinking about doing such a large painting, you kind of want to know, like, have a direction for it at least. Now that I've taken just like a couple of photographs, I kind of think that I have a little bit of an understanding of what might make a good mural from just one single AirPod. I don't know why. Why do I put myself through this? Why do I make myself do something so weirdly hard? I don't know. <laughs> So this is what I came up with for a large scale composition of the AirPod. Two questions. Can I paint this? Yes, I think so. But maybe better question, will it look good? I know you don't see a lot of murals like this, right? You don't see a lot of murals that are more in the abstract. I think only time will tell. Only time will tell. I'm not talking about middle school. I'm talking art. Public displays of them. 
These bad boys have been around forever. Not this particular bad boy. Like this one. These ones. And this one. The wall art you and I enjoy is new, but its form is very old. Ancient. Over the centuries, this PDA has been paid for by governments, churches, and corporations who want to publicly mark their territory, or maybe just make a building look prettier, or a neighborhood. This is the neighborhood downtown my city. No one is paying me to put art in a public space. That's why I'm doing it this way. Part of why I sort of wanted to start this YouTube channel is because I just find it very therapeutic to make art, to paint. I just like to paint and listen to music or listen to podcasts. I was just listening to a video by the artist and I want to give a little shout out to this little known artist, 1000 on YouTube. Just a small channel. He's like the Mr. Beast of artists or something. You probably already heard of it, but if you like what I'm doing on this channel, you probably like his channel too. I'm just covering this thing in glue right now. I'm trying to, I usually have used glue to seal these canvases. This one, to my surprise and delight, was already sealed. It came sealed, so I just wanna give it as much of a chance to have like a very painterly texture. I don't like a really flat painting. I don't know if this is gonna help, or hurt, someone might be like, you're doing that all wrong. It might fail. I can fail. I'm allowed to fail. Who are you to judge me anyways? You don't know my life. You haven't walked a day in my shoes. You haven't walked a day in my vans. Okay, it's time for the next part of the video. So let's uh, let's clap it in. It's on the wall. So far so good. Now it's time to uh, trace it. Let's see how it goes. This is the part of the video where I do the drawing. The pencils are done. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like I did a lot, but I feel like I've done so much because just a few days ago. Wait, let me show you. Did you hear him? I heard the door is open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the unboxing of the AirPods. Here's the box. It has been delivered in a questionable receptacle. In order to cut into this bad boy, I'm gonna need the proper tool. I 
if you just look around your house and the places where small things like to collect under the bed, behind bookshelves, or in my case, in the junk drawer, the proper tool will be there. It will be Swiss made. It is an army knife. For this application, we're going to want the actual tiny pair of scissors. Just going to carefully, carefully making sure not to cut into the cardboard at all, which would be detrimental to the actual blade of the scissor. Now the final cut here. Perfect. This is the first generation AirPods used edition. A little bit of bubble wrap and a receipt. I'll take this out here. It's gonna be discarded. Removing of the bubble wrap. Looks like we got a double bag situation here. Possibly triple, no, double. Simple unlocking of the zipper here. Looks like genuine Apple cable here. Case of the AirPod, once again, just a unlocking of the zipper. The pod, which holds the pods. Let's go ahead and try to break the seal. Yes, it, it has been charged. Here we have the pod. Secondary ear here. See, they... I don't know if you can hear that, but they don't really make any sound unless there's any input. You've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I set up a special camera for this. It's finally time for the first stroke of the painting. And what better motion to capture it in than slow motion. Ugh. This is actually really hard to get off. Here we go. Let's see what we got. It's not that epic. That wasn't that epic. Let's try again. Just take this like that. Let me try with more might. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough paint to finish this now. Gotta save it. I don't normally wait for paint to dry. I just like to keep going with the painting, but the blue is like the oddball weirdo color in this composition, so I want it to stand out. Anyways, I'm waiting and I decided to paint my AirPods. I'm doing it Jackson Pollock style, and I think he doesn't get enough credit. Not that people don't like his work. People look at it partly because it's so expensive and say, I could do that. It shouldn't be that expensive. And I... <laughs> I get it. If you just actually look at the paintings outside of those preconceived like ideas about what the value of art ought to be, it's uh, actually like really well composed and like pretty beautiful. Anyways, uh, I'm not an art history person or an art collector. Okay, that should do it. I know what you're gonna ask, okay? And the answer is, 
Yes, I will sell you the fine art AirPods. I'll even sign it for you. Look, but <sighs> how can I say this to you? It's not going to be cheap. Since these are no longer just iPods, they're now fine art. And listen, I'm not giving you the genuine Apple cable. Those things break way too much on me. There you go. First come, first serve. Uh, you pay shipping. It's the next day. It's 11 o'clock. It's Thursday. And I'm very excited because I think I'm going to finish the painting today. I'm going to finish the painting today. That's if everything goes to plan. But of course, of course, of that's if everything goes to plan. And everything never goes to plan. I imagine if you're still watching that you would really like to see a great, grand, finished, exquisite wall mural. Me too. I like to be able to see a thumbnail and title on YouTube and say, wow, that sounds kind of interesting. I wasn't doing anything important right now anyways. Is it possible to make such a grand project with such a simple starting point? If you answered, I don't know, then you're right. I didn't know when I started this video and I'm almost done with this painting and still don't know if what comes out of this project in the end will have any resemblance to what we commonly call art. I like to do abstract art and many people's attitudes toward abstract art is that a preschooler could do it. Well, does it make it any better that my my daughter, a preschooler, actually does help me with my painting sometimes. If once again you answered, I don't know, you would again be correct because the laws of how popular and valuable art pieces are, are not governed by anything logical. At this point of the painting, you always have to ask yourself, what life choices have I made that have led me to be painting something that is so ridiculous? Should I even finish the painting? Or should I destroy this thing? It might be a little hasty to just destroy it. After all, someone labored for days just trying to set up the painting, stretching the canvas on the wall, sealing it with some kind of sealer so that it wouldn't just absorb all the paint. Heck, this canvas that you're looking at costed at least 50 bucks. Plus, look at all this paint. It would be kind of a shame to waste all that paint. Wait, I didn't ask if we were gonna do that. No. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, you can stop now. First time I saw an AirPod, I actually thought, there's no way that this thing can actually exist. My mind actually lagged behind and was like, okay, that's just like, am I really seeing what I think I'm seeing? I mean, something like that can't actually. A local restaurant actually asked me if I would put up some of my art in their space to try and sell it there. And I said yes, so that's why I cut this up. I cut it up into three pieces. There's only two right here, but I wrote Macintosh, but I crossed it out because it's really not about the, the brand name. I remember when the original iPod came I out. I couldn't afford it at the time, but my friend's dad had it and I thought it was really cool. So I saved up my money and I bought an iPod Shuffle. It was 512 megabytes, it was the size of a stick of gum. My parents gave me $5 a month so that I could buy Bob. five songs every month. I would watch movie credits so I could see how to look up the song on iTunes to buy The it. iPod Shuffle came with the Apple earbuds. The apex of all listening devices at that time for me. I wonder if someone did a double take the first time that they saw a radio like this, the same way that I did a double take 
when I saw the AirPods for the first time. This can't be possible. You can't transmit music over airwaves. Actually, you can. And we do, all the time. So much so that we take it for granted. For me, I think this art piece is partly just about appreciating how cool that technology is. Big thank you to Eamon for helping me stretch this the legit way. Please check out his art. It's at Eamon Eamon on Instagram. The dude's art is seriously sick in the best possible sense. What I always do though is spray the back with water. It up. Yeah, they'll snug it up a little bit. You can also use a sponge. Don't get it too crazy. I made another video about making a wall mural right here. Like or die. Subscribe and destroy. Oh, I